Making a profit from price boost is incredibly easy when you understand the basics of measuring value. Anyone can do it, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's done, including an example. Now this is a very basic form of advantage play like card counting. It's mathematically proven and can be applied systematically, which is why I like it, and I hope you do too. However, the bookies don't, so after a while, they will limit boosts for exploiting this loophole. They want you to take risks and lose money to them. I don't, as subscribers will already know from previous videos. Price boosts are a popular marketing tool for betting companies, but there are two different types of price boosts. Price boosts that are a fixed bet chosen by the company, like this one from Skybet, and price boosts that are manually chosen individually by the user, like this boost facility over on Labbrokes. Both represent opportunity, although individual boosts are typically better for this strategy as you have the freedom of choosing where you place the boost. For an example, I'm showing you a manual boost opportunity on Man United and Burnley. You'll see how that plays out in just a second, but the reason that fixed bet price boosts are less appealing is because in most cases, but not all, it's just marketing trickery. It's like a DFS one-time summer sale that then becomes the autumn sale, winter sale, and spring sale too. Because the reality is, there isn't really a sale at all. It was just a terrible deal in the first place with the discount price being the real price. With these fixed bet price boosts chosen by the company, they're doing exactly the same. They're just boosting an already reduced price back to what it should have been, whilst maintaining the illusion of a great deal to encourage you to carry on spending. There are exceptions, and occasionally they represent value, but this is why I prefer price boosts that we can choose as an individual user, regardless of provider. To be quite honest, it's the difference between profiting from price boosts or getting tricked. The logic behind price boost profits is simple. As you can see here, bookmakers make money from offering bets at a lower price than they're truly worth. They don't win all the time, but the margin of difference is how they're guaranteed to win over the longer term. Probability and the law of averages ensure that they come out on top. To make money in betting, you have to do the exact opposite. You have to get a price bigger than the bet is worth, and then let the probability play out with a good sample. Now, I won't go into over rounds and probability for betting strategy now, as that's covered in a separate video on the channel page. However, the underlying principle is the same. We need to get definable value that we can see and measure. So in our example, the right play is to boost the draw odds between Man United and Burnley. This is because there's clearly definable value on offer and the boosted price was above the bet's real worth. But how did I know the true value of this bet? It's a fair question, and knowing the true value of a bet long before the event is incredibly hard. However, it's mathematically proven that the most efficient pricing occurs at the starting time of a sporting event, and it makes logical sense too, because this is where the most information is available. Pricing adjustments have taken place, and the betting market is at its peak activity. It's when hundreds of thousands of people are voting with their money, and millions of data points are available too. The wisdom of the crowd is at its most efficient point, which is fortunate for us because it means that you don't have to be Rain Man to calculate the true odds. A2, A2, A2. Just take a look at the betting exchange prices in the final minutes before the start. They'll give you a pretty accurate gauge, it's our best guide. The downside being, they're not such a good guide hours before the start of a match or race due to liquidity. Although they will help you identify those false DFS style price boosts if you compare them. I mean, look at this from Skybet. It's shocking behavior. They're advertising a price boost on Cotmask in the 115 at Fontwell from eight to 11, which is 1.72 in decimal odds, to four to five, equal to 1.8 in decimals. But if you look at the exchange, the price is 1.9. It's not the only one either. Zabil Champion is boosted to 15 to eight from seven to four in the 210 race. That's a boosted price of 2.875 in decimal odds. But if we take a look at the exchanges again, it's 2.96 showing his price boost is a complete stitch up. So by comparing the exchange price to your boosted price with a sports book, you can pinpoint exactly how much value you are or are not getting. And you don't need a pointy head, six fingers, and a PhD to work it out. 
This is how I knew the price was gonna be lower than the price boosted bet in the example between United and Burnley. The price with Labrokes was 4.3 and the price on Betfair's exchange was 4.2. When you add on that manual price boost, Labrokes system enhances the odds and this is how it's possible to get bigger odds than the bet was truly worth. The price boost is offering the value margin here, but I must warn you, this is only a guaranteed way of winning over the longer term if you continually take the odds and use the price boost effectively. Probability has to play out. There's no point using price boost to lock in some surefire value profit and then throw it away on some pump odds accumulator a little bit later. But that's a topic for another video. In this instance, the bet won, but the match result didn't matter because repeating the process guarantees long-term success. Just like the bookies are if you take their bad odds in the alternate direction. It's simple maths. Now, look, I'm all about finding definable value like this and there are more profitable ways of doing it. As I demonstrate in this video here, it shows you a strategy that will beat any sports book without promotional bonuses or price boosts. It's a popular one, so don't miss out. Thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you like this video, but only if you think I've earned it. See you next time.